Hi, in this video we are going to learn how to create JavaScript objects using prototype. My name is Dhananjay Kumar. As we have discussed earlier that a JavaScript objects can be created in three different ways. It can be created using literals, it can be created using new operator, and it can be created using a static function object.create. When you create a JavaScript object using object.create static function, you call it, you are using prototypes to create JavaScript objects. Let us say you have an object student which got two properties name and grade. Now you want to create another object named art student and that object is going to have properties from a student object. So for example, if art student contains properties name grade which comes from a student and art subject and art music, these two properties are specific to art student. So we can say that art student is going to use a student object as prototype. You use object.create like this to create art student object. What we are doing in object.create static function, we are passing a student which you see on your screen which will act as prototype and then any additional properties for art of student pro object. Now let us get into demo and see how it works. Again for demo I am using sublime text. You can use any uh, code editor for your of your choice. Let us go ahead and create a student object. And as a literal we can create a student object like this and go ahead and put some properties I am setting name as G block and grade as A. Good and as you know that if you want to access any property for this object we can access that using dot operator. So let us go ahead and just to confirm print name of property from this object and we can access that as a student dot name and when we run we get the desired output. So far so good. Now we want to use this student object as prototype for next object which is we are going to create. So let us see how we can do that. Now we want to create art a student which is going to use a student as prototype. So that can be created as where art a student equal to object dot create and object dot create is a static function and it takes two parameter. First parameter should be prototype and second parameter sh should be any additional property. So let us go ahead and pass this a student object there because we want to use that as a prototype. If you want you can skip second parameter. So what line number 8 is going to do, it is going to create a object called art a student which is using a student object as prototype. So art a student will have all the properties of a student object. In this case that is name and grade we have not provided any additional properties yet. So if we go and print art student dot name we should get the desired output g block and here you see that you are getting g block. So art student object contains all the properties of its prototype object which is a student. So art a student does contain name and grade as of now. You can go and print grade and you get grade here is the output. Now if you want to pass an additional properties to art a student you can pass that as second parameter here and that can be passed as for example if you want to pass a uh, music so we can pass that like this and can say 
music and then that will take value and here you can pass any value let us say I'm saying value as drum so what we have done here we have added one additional property called music with the value drum newly created uh, property music can be accessed as this so you see that you are getting uh, output here as a drum you can add more than one additional properties here after comma let us say you want to add one more property called dance you can add that as like this then value and give any value here I am giving salsa so this is the way you can add additional properties to object so first property is a student which is prototype and going to act as prototype for art student and music and dance are additional properties go ahead and here print dance property and you should get the desired output that is salsa so now art student object got four properties two properties from prototype student those are name and grade and two additional properties which we added here music and dance so this is the way you can create an object using object dot create and using another object another existing object as prototype in this video we learned how to create javascript objects using prototype we learned how we can use an existing object using object.create how we can pass different parameters to object.create for any update feel free to follow me on twitter that is debug underscore mode is my twitter handle and my blog is debugmode.net i hope you find this video useful thanks for watching it